Hey everybody, Kat Walski here, checking in with another one of our hashtag Star Trek news video updates. Today we're going to be doing just a quick uh, recap of a few news stories that have broke out recently in regards to Star Trek Picard. Now, some of you guys may already be aware of this, but for those who are not, I want to just quickly recap the things that have occurred because it's kind of big news for the show and somewhat of the future of Star Trek moving forward. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so fresh off the heels of an interview with the interim CEO of CBS from a few weeks ago where he talked a little bit about the international appeal of Star Trek Picard, the new Picard series. Now, this was quite interesting and something that I commented on at the time because it wasn't quite clear who was going to be distributing the show internationally at that point. It was speculated that Netflix was going to pick it up, but it wasn't 100% sure because they hadn't sealed the deal yet. They do have the exclusivity for international things uh, outside of the U.S. and Canada, and I think the U.K. for um, Star Trek Discovery, but they don't necessarily have it for every new Star Trek show. However, just a few days ago, it has been announced directly from Jean-Luc Picard, Sir Patrick Stewart himself, along with several other news outlets, that Amazon Prime is actually going to be picking up the Star Trek Picard show for the international audience. It was also announced that the space streaming service will be getting exclusive rights to air the Picard show at the exact same time as it is appearing in the U.S. inside of Canada in both English and French versions. So that's also really good news for people. They don't really have to worry about getting a brand new subscription service if they don't already have Amazon Prime. Now that brings me to my next issue, which is... Amazon as a whole kind of seems like a win for the Star Trek franchise, specifically Star Trek Picard, because they do reach approximately 200 plus countries as opposed to Netflix's around 180 count. But according to their own internal numbers that they shared out with different news sources, Amazon has around 101, 102 million paid subscribers, while Netflix has almost 140. 40 million paid subscribers. So it's getting spread out to slightly larger of an area, but it's going to be reaching as a based off of Prime and or Netflix subscription numbers, a slightly less group of people by around 30 million or 40 million, give or take. So that is a substantial less amount. Well, I don't know if it's substantial, but it is a smaller amount of paid subscribers, but it is a wider area. So I know a lot of people, especially in the US that have Amazon Prime and the card show being on there may be the thing that pushes people over the edge and say, well, I might as well get Prime. I use it for other things as well. I think it's a very good service. I've always enjoyed it. This is not a sponsorship by Amazon Prime by any means, but I've always enjoyed Amazon Prime. I think it's a really great thing because I order a lot of things from their website. So this might be something that ticks up their numbers. So I'm sure Amazon was already thinking that as well as this is going to be a really great selling point for their content on Amazon Prime uh, to try to entice more people to get on board with their subscription service. Anyways, I want to go ahead and also touch a little bit on what this means for the future of Star Trek. So right now, Star Trek Discovery still is exclusively being distributed internationally in most international markets through Netflix. And I don't believe that that's going to change. Uh, we haven't heard any news about that changing. And it's not quite clear if Amazon's going to stick with the deal for the other shows that are coming out from CBS or if CBS is going to continue to try to auction off the show to different streaming services that are coming out and, and trying to cutting up that way. I, I think it's a little dangerous for them to try to spread their shows out over multiple international platforms because that runs the risk of people kind of being upset about the possibility of, well, I want to watch Picard and I want to watch the whatever the new show, whether it's a Pike show or Section 31 show or whatever it is, the animated show, and I want to watch Discovery. And if I live in a certain market geographically, I have to have a Prime membership, a Netflix membership, or a whatever membership, or a CBS membership if they, if they find they do that process or whatever it is. So they might upset a lot of people. So they need to be careful with that. They don't want to spread themselves too thin, in my opinion. But this could signify that things are going to be shifting more towards Amazon uh, internationally because they do reach more countries as opposed to Netflix, but it's we'll wait to see. I don't know. Maybe Picard will just be the one off there and everything will go back to normal between CBS and Netflix, but it's, it's unclear as of this point right now. I also want to go ahead and touch on a topic that I know some people are already starting to kind of get into, which is that this is a signifying moment that the Picard show has had a lot of production woes and all these other problems with delays and stuff like that. I believe that the show is already in production. I don't think there's any delays. And I also don't think that Netflix just reneged on any kind of deal that may have been happening with CBS. Uh, for the Picard show, I think that they just shot the show around to see if anybody else was going to give them a better deal. And I think Amazon possibly did that. But also, I have no idea. It could have definitely been a situation where Amazon is like, or excuse me, Netflix is like, 
I don't want to deal with these new Trek shows anymore. I just want to either stick with what we have or, you know, not do anything new. It's very possible that they tried to pull out of the, any other future deals with CBS. I don't know. Nobody really knows. Uh, we don't have any official word from any spokesperson from CBS or Amazon or Netflix on the matter. So anybody saying that they know for sure that this is a signifying situation where this is definitely showing you that there was issues with the Picard show are either trying to rely on insider sources or just kind of, you know, going with their gut. And my gut is telling me that it just was a, you know, price auction and Amazon gave them a better deal. So CBS went with them. But I also have no sources on that whatsoever. I have no information on that. That's just what my gut is telling me. But beyond that, I am very excited about this. I think it's going to be great that the Picard show is confirmed to be set out internationally. I know there was some concern that there was going to be no international release initially for the Picard show, but it seems as though that it's going to be coming out it doesn't confirm Amazon's going to have it at the same time, but at least Space and CBS All Access are going to be releasing it at the exact same time. And I assume Amazon will probably want to be somewhere in that realm because they don't want to be too far behind the curve because people are just going to pirate it at that point and they're not going to have any reason to watch it through the Amazon Prime subscription service. So I feel like they're probably going to try to be as close to that as possible. Anyways, guys and gals, that wraps up today's video. I curious to hear what all of you think are you excited that you know picard's going to be on amazon or would you have preferred it on netflix are you waiting for cbs all access to go international so they can stop making you pay for a bunch of different services and all this other stuff i'm curious to hear what all of you guys and gals think about this please throw your comments down below and i'll catch all of y'all next time live long and prosper my trickies